Hi everybody, my name's Sam and thank you for watching today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this 5x7 stepper card. So 5x7 cards aren't usually made as a stepper fold because you would need a piece of 14 length cardstock. So a lot of these are already pre-made and a lot of companies sell them already done for you. But I've come up with a way to make it in two halves and it's actually very easy as well. So hopefully those of you that like the 5x7 card size will really enjoy making this card. Mine's got the lovely Wallace and Gromit on and I'll talk a little bit more about that in the video and then on the back you've got space there to be able to write your message or if you'd like you can always write inside there. So let me show you how I made it. Okay so the papers I used here, the polka dot and the bone is all from this one. It's an older pad. I did buy this uh, a couple of years ago maybe now. Yeah it would have been. Yeah it was a couple of years ago. Well just about 18 months anyway. <laughs> it was from Paper Addicts which is by Craft Label and it was a pound so if I can find any sellers online then I will link that one. So I've gone ahead, prepared everything I've even done Wallace and then this time I've got Sean the Sheep which I've made there which is very cute. I've also embossed this one here. Anybody that was watching the live would have seen me make this one here which is probably one of the funniest lives I've done since I've been doing them. But this time I just swapped out his tie for a red tie and then he matched Sean with the red in his knitted sweater and then the red on there. So that's all that ready and I just embossed the red pieces just to give it a little bit of texture, texture. and this is the X-Cut Tartan Knit embossing folder. That's my cardstock and then the stamp here is the Happy Birthday which is from the stamps that go with this collection. It's all sold separately but I picked this up last year when it was all on offer and some of it is still on offer at the moment or it is as I put this, make this video so hopefully it's still available when it goes up. But you build these up so you have all these separate pieces and you can build them. Now during the live, this one took me some time because we were laughing and again, if you like to watch the lives on Facebook, I'll link it in the description box below. However, after the live, when I wasn't distracted by comments, he actually took me no time at all. I put him together very quickly. So there are some fiddly little parts, but like the black little pupils there, that's actually a die, but you could easily just pop a, you know, a black alcohol marker or a biro fine tip pen would go on there quite easily. So there are things that you don't have to do and we actually in the end, well I, I realised that you can just do it all one colour. So you can see there I've done his shirt all in white. On here can you see all the different shades even on his hands? I just done it all the same and it still looked great. So these are the ones I've got but there is also fluffy, sorry, fluffles and paella. And then I've got two embossing folders that also come with it which um, I didn't use on these projects. But there's Gromit. There's Wallace which were on that one and then I haven't used Feathers McGraw yet but I've used Sean again with Wallace. Okay so that's everything there. So on to the scoring. So you want one piece of five by seven and a half and along the five inch side you want to score at one and four inches but only down to the two and a half inch mark. So this is slightly different to what I did in the live. This is how I should have done it but I was like I do sometimes, I get carried away. So I'm just scoring at one, but just down to that two and a half marker. And again at the four inch, just down to the two and a half inch marker. Then rotate it and score at five to join up with the bottom of that score line. So you're not scoring all the way through, you're just scoring so it meets the bottom of that one you just done. And then if you flip the cardstock over, score again at five because these are just cut lines it doesn't matter that they're in the opposite direction but again it's just joining the bottom of that one and then you also want to score I'm just going to flip it back over again score at seven all the way through so I just hold that up there can you see ignore that one that I've done I've done that wrong and that one there just ignore them you'll just have this score line and this one on each side and then that's that seven inch score line all the way through this is the back then for the front you want a piece of five by seven and you're going to score again at one and four but this time you're going to score all the way down to five and a half inches so one inch down to five and a half and four inches down to five and a half and then again you're going to rotate and you're then going to score at four and a half and five and a half down to that score line so it's a lot of partial scoring so four and a half and five and a half and again just flip it over four and a half and five and a half just to give you the guides it's just easier that way and then you can also go back over them okay so you can see again there's the one and the four all the way down to five and a half inches 
and then you can see the other two. It's all just meeting these score lines. And then you would also need for mats and layers. So this is for the back. So this is a piece of four and three quarters by six and three quarters. And just so we get that nice effect here, okay, you want to score again at one down to two inches. So one down to two, and then three and three quarters down to two. Rotate it and then score at two. So it joins the bottom and again just flip it over but you're just going to cut these out so it doesn't really matter too much about which way the score lines are again ignore that score line there but you just want to have these two corners and you'll cut those out and this one i've already stamped but again this is four and a half by six and a half you're scoring at one down to two again join it up and then this time at three and a half down to two rotate it and score at two to join up it's just the quickest way to get that all lined up. And again, if I just bring it up, you see there, and we're going to cut this out in a minute, and they will mat and layer perfectly over each other and then onto the back of the card. I'm going to start with a five by seven piece. So all of this scoring at the bottom here, you want it so it's facing away from you. You're now going to cut down both of these score lines really neatly, because this is all the front of the card. If you'd rather use a trimmer, you can. And you're going to cut all the way down to the end of that score line. I like to just get my little snips just to get a really nice neat cut up to the end there. And then again on this side. And okay, and then what you're going to do is create mountain folds first and then valley fold. And you can start to see already the front of that stepper card coming together. So this way of doing it, you don't need to worry about having a trimmer. You don't have to worry about having a cutting knife because sometimes you have to cut, usually most stepper cards you have to cut inside the, the card area. And this way is just a little bit easier. So then this time again, you want this side now facing you where you've got that half inch tab. And you're gonna cut all the way down past the first score line, all the way down to the end again, like so. And all of this back side here is all going to be the tabs to stick the front piece on, like so. And then just remove, you don't have to, but just take those off, like so. And again, you're going to fold them so they're mountains, and so that's a mountain as well. So you've just got a piece that looks like that. Next we want to stick it all together, so I like to stick this tab first, so I'm just going to pop some glue along there, and I'm going to get this end and just join them up. If you've got anything overhanging, just take a little wedge off the side of that tab first, but this lines up perfectly. So just give that a second to grab, and then what's going to happen, this front is going to stick over each of them, cover the whole piece. So all the joins are at the top here and here and here. So I'll do one at a time, so pop the glue on there. It works better having a longer tab. I did try it when I done my kind of just samples and I done it as a half inch tab, but it ended up pushing the card out more. So having a longer tab seemed to hold it better. And then I'm just gonna lay that over the top and just make sure you get a really nice clean join there. Okay, and then again with this one. And then the whole card will fold flat. And if you just grab bone folder and just go over everything, just burnish all of those, even the score lines under here. Like so. And now you have your five by seven stepper card and it will stand up really nicely. Once you've got your mats and layers on as well, it will fold down more. I'm just gonna go over those again. There we go. Then I'm going to grab the back pieces and all you want to do is just remove those corners. Now 
Okay, and then I've just stuck those over the top, and then if you need to flip this over, it will sit perfectly on the back of the card. Okay, so that's the back all done. And then I'm just going to decorate the front. So I've got this piece here, which is two and three quarters by five and a half. And then I have this piece here, which is that's going to go along the bottom, like so. I actually made this one a bit longer, that one's shorter, but now I'm thinking I might take a little bit more off that. So it was quite a big white gap underneath just there. So I might shave a bit more off of that one, but it's entirely up to you because I think then you'll have. Yeah, it just seems a bit longer. Let me just take a little bit more off this one. So I would take this one to five and three eighths. So it's just a little bit of a slightly different measurement, but there we go, it gives you that perfect white border. That piece was one and a quarter by four and three quarters. And then these pieces here are three quarters by four and a quarter, and they will go in and stick down like so. Okay, and then I've got my Wallace and Sean, which are going to go on the front there. The Happy Birthday is from that stamp set, and that's going to go along the bottom. And then I've cut this bunting from just some of my old bunting dies, and they're going to go along the top. So I'm going to get everything stuck down. That's now everything stuck down. See the black cardstock I used on Sean the Sheep? It's got like a shine to it. Then I've already put the glossy accents on his eyes, which you can probably just see. Someone did say during the live as well, maybe some googly eyes would look really cool. But I'm going to use glossy accents, so I'm just going to pop a couple of little dots on his eyes. It goes on a bit cloudy, but that will dry nice and clear. And then on the bunting here, can you see all that shine? And that's from the Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen. And you'll probably really notice it more on the red. But just go over the bunting. Once it's dry, you can go over it again. It goes, it will like darken the cardstock, but once it dries, it will go back to its original colour, but leave all the glitter. So this is a clear one. There you have it. I'll just bring that up again. You can just there we go. You can see all that sparkle. So there are my two really cool stepper cards, which every time I look at now just make me laugh because of the Facebook Live. So again, if you did want to watch something a bit funny, it's more when I start to put him together. So um, yeah, feel free. You can watch that one. Like I said, it's linked below. But there they are. So I will link as much of the product if it's still available in the description box below. And um, I hope you have fun making these 5x7 stepper cards. Also coming up now will be the other size of stepper cards. I've got a whole playlist of stepper cards, 6x6, other sizes, centre stepper, double stair stepper. There's lots of different variations of this kind of fold. So if you'd like to make more, check out that playlist. And otherwise, I'll be back again very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.